Welcome! Easy Hydroponics. This is going to feature a Dutch bucket system and it's going to be real portable. You'll need one of these guys, like a, you know, 10 to 20 gallon tub with a lid. Easy enough. You'll have to go to a hydroponic store or greenhouse to get the black tubing. I believe this is three quarters inch. And you'll need to go to like Fred Meyer or a, a Lowe's to get the fittings. I like to use one half inch pipe. So I'm gonna raise this camera just a touch. There you are. So there's so many ways you can connect it, but they have a nipple here and out here for a quarter inch pipe and then the screw for a, or I'm sorry, a half inch pipe. You screw it in here. Let's see. So anyway, so this is pretty much it. Several links of this stuff so that you don't get algae in it. So that makes the basis for your drain system for your bucket. So your bucket is gonna be like a four gallon, five gallon container. It'll be empty, you'll take a lid you can cut a hole in it and put a little quarter inch hole in for your injectors. You're going to fill it with perlite. The thicker the better, the chunkier you could do clay balls or whatever. This is a paint strainer and I like to put it inside the basket. That's why the roots won't get in there and clog up the system. So inside you're going to have a, quart, a little angle bracket. This is all half inch and then a half inch pipe going through the system with another quarter inch and another pipe and that's going to be your drain you're going to want to drill it two inches above and you want to use a grommet of some kind a garomet which is uh, that you put in here and i think you want to do a uh, i want to say three quarters inch but you could find out with a hole saw how to quickly do that and uh, it's just going to go through like this, like that. So this is a, you know, half inch pipe that goes in here. So this connects to this guy. Your, remember your tube? Like that. And then this is going to be elevated above your little bin. The bin will be on the floor. Maybe these guys will be in the sun and you can space them out. Uh, I have room for three. I drilled three holes. There. So, you're going to need quarter inch tubing that you can get at a uh, garden store too. You can get it at Lowe's or whatever for a sprinkler. You're going to get some green spray heads that you can put on here. You can get the adjustable kind or whatever as long as they do 360 and they're for the low drip irrigation system. Not drip, they need to spray. And to do that, you're going to need a pump. And I would get an Ecolab pump. This is like 250, it's really low. And these guys, I love these guys. And you're gonna take a half inch pipe, or a half inch, this is different length than this guy. This is the thick three quarters or inch, I can't remember. And this is um, half inch, flexible black pipe. And you're gonna take the quarter inch stuff and stick them in here, three of them into the hole, you're piercing them and stick them and then you tape this end like this to seal it off so you have like a diaphragm. So the pump will spray the water into here and then these guys, as you can tell, wind their way out and into the lid that we talked about and that will go in the hole like that. So the injectors will be like right here. And it will spray just on top. Now, to time the pump, you're gonna want an Apollo 2. This thing, you have to go to a garden store for that or order it online. This will show how long to keep it on and how long it stays off before it resets the timer. It's even sensitive to light. So you wanna keep this and you can't use it outside. So you have to protect this somehow with a junction box or something. So. I like to set mine for every two hours for one minute and it will just keep doing that day and night. Uh, there you go, that's your nutrient solution. Um, nutrient solution, you want to get something easy or I like uh, hydro, general hydroponics, the grow, the green bottle and then uh, 
doesn't matter too much as long as you make sure that you follow the guidelines you want um, for how much to put in. So basically you want like for lettuce 400 parts per million and you want your pH to be 6 and 7 and they have something called a trimeter you could do if you want to get fancy that's 300 200 dollars but you can use strips or whatever uh, always don't use chlorinated water always use fresh rain water or water that you set out for a day for the nutrient system just fill the bin and it will do the work and spray on the plants and you just make sure that the bin is full and you should be able to go cooking with gas for tomatoes and your peppers. Well, I hope this works. My name is Cyrix Lord, and uh, I hope this was helpful. Cheers.